very good morning students today we will discuss the second chapter from indian um, political theory okay second chapter of political theory and that is freedom now what is freedom freedom kya hai tum logo ke liye freedom means to do whatever you want to do without any restrictions that is called freedom right so first of all we will discuss about there are two uh, most important uh, persons they belongs to freedom their ideology okay we will discuss about them first of all nelson mandela all of you must have heard about his name nelson mandela if you go to our library school library you will find so many quotations written by nelson mandela okay he was from africa okay and he was the first elected fully elected president okay from africa and the book he has written was long walk to freedom the name of the book of nelson mandela is long walk to freedom please remember these names these are important for your objective question answers okay so nelson mandela <clears throat> the autobiography of nelson mandela is titled long walk to freedom in this book he talks about his personal struggle against the apartheid regime in south africa now what is apartheid apartheid means discrimination on the basis of color okay in south africa there was a situation of apartheid occur because of the blacks and the whites whites used to dominate the black people though africa belongs to the black people okay the case is like india the britishers came to india in order to do business but they captured india right we were under them before independence similarly in africa also south africa the white people used to dominate black people okay they uh, the black people were not uh, they were not free they were they cannot do anything on their own because of the white people so uh, they were very very brutal to the black people the white people they used to humiliate them they used to um the the life of the black people were brutally suffered during that period in south africa okay and nelson mandela he has spent uh, his uh, 28 years of his life in jail in solitary confine confinement imprisonment he was in jail for 28 years when he fought against this apartheid he raised his voice against his against apartheid okay so the white people uh, finally they left or the white people finally gave the equal rights to the black people and there was uh, after white people were agreed to give equal rights to the black people then The, that country became um, democratic fully democratic then nelson mandela became the president of that fully democratic uh, fully representative democratic election okay so because of apartheid use uh, <clears throat> the white people used to dominate black people on the basis of color okay they were not free white people uh, black people cannot do anything on their own they cannot marry to anyone they were not uh, even the, the even the um, washrooms the black people were not allowed to use public washrooms also okay so that was the uh, type of domination they used to do the white people used to do and nelson mandela that time was the freedom fighter of south africa and after uh, fighting against the white and um, he 
he has spent almost 28 years of his life in jail during this situation because he raises his voice against this um, white people okay then that time Nelson Mandela wrote his autobiography and the name of his book is long walk to freedom in that book he has discussed everything about the um, struggle he has faced or the black people of South Africa has faced during that appetite second one was uh, Aung San Suu Kyi Aung San Suu Kyi she was from Burma Myanmar okay and she was a politician and uh, she was the leader of national league for democracy and she was also the fighter of democracy and human rights and this um Aung San Suu Kyi was um, house arrest in Myanmar she remained house arrest in Myanmar separated from her children unable to visit her husband when he was dying of cancer so she was not allowed to meet his husband during his death period okay uh, because uh, she feared that if she left Myanmar to visit him in England she would not be able to return and she has written her essay and the title of her book is freedom from fear in that book she says that uh, for me real freedom is freedom from fear and unless you can live free from fear you cannot live a dignified human life okay she was scared during that um, period in Myanmar she was scared she thought that uh, her, her husband was in England and he was uh, suffering from cancer she feared to visit his husband during his death period because she thought that if I visit England then I won't be able to return my country I won't be able to return Myanmar because I might be killed so that is the fear she has and according to her freedom means freedom from fear freedom from our own fear okay so these are the two important um, persons about freedom one has fought against the whites Nelson Mandela okay he has raised his voice he fought against he fought for the right of the people he fought for the for his people for his black people and one is um, one is a lady her name is Aung San Suu Kyi and uh, she fought against her fear because she was a freedom fighter and she was a leader also uh, her life was in danger that is for sure true but she has to overcome her fear and she has written her essay uh, titled freedom from fear we have to get freedom from our own fear okay so these are the two important people and uh, swaraj swara what is swaraj swaraj means self rule it can be understood to mean both the rule of the self and the rule over self okay this this belongs to um, the leader of burma or the myanmar the lady okay we have to rule by ourselves swaraj my rule we have to overcome our fear that is called freedom so what is freedom a simple answer to this question is the absence of restrictions the absence of constraint freedom means if you have freedom then there won't be any restrictions there shouldn't be any constraint that is called freedom nelson mandela got freedom because uh, before having freedom he has restrictions by the white people right so after fighting with the right people he got the right he he was um, they won the battle and there was no restriction now for the black people that is called the absence of restrictions right 
and uh, in case of this uh, Aung San Suu Kyi, freedom means there was no restriction. Initially, she has restriction from her own fear, from the fear of uh, death, from the fear of people. Right. So, she uh, fought against that fear. She fought against that restriction. In order to live a dignified human life, one has to overcome uh, the fear of her own. The fear means restriction, obviously. If you are um, fearing something, to do, to do something, then that is called restrictions. Right. So, freedom means simply without restrictions. Absence of restriction or absence of constraint that is called freedom freedom is also about expanding the ability of people to freely express themselves and develop their potential freedom means we we should have the ability to express ourselves right and uh, develop our um, potential or develop our quality that is called freedom if there is restriction, then you won't be able to develop your potential or develop your quality. Right? Like for example, uh, from your class only, from class 11 only, uh, a girl, uh, whatever name is, she is interested in dancing. Okay. But her uh, family is a little bit conserved family. Okay. So she was not able to raise her voice she, she, she couldn't ask their, her parents about her dancing skill she cannot say anything and if she was not free to do something then obviously there is restriction and she would not be able to develop her skill right so freedom means absence of restriction freedom means to develop our potential Freedom means to express ourselves freely. That is called freedom. Okay. So in our next class, we will discuss about restrictions. What are the restrictions? Constraint. Sources of constraint. What are the sources of constraints? Sources of restrictions. Okay.